welcome back to HTTV. I'm Carly Selting. I'm Cambry McNeil. We're going to start off with a few announcements for you. Yes, we are. Okay, so today is Thursday the 7th. Um, we have winter sports pictures going on right now. So, yeah. Hopefully you're there. Yep. And we also tonight have the elementary Christmas program at 7 p.m. in Hitchcock at the elementary school in the gym. We so, did get a sneak peek, so. Super good. It's, it's really good, so yeah, go watch if you can. Um, Friday is tomorrow, and it is the first day of Hanukkah. So happy Hanukkah to those of you who celebrate. Also um, FCCLA. Yes, so we have 10 a.m. enhancement tomorrow, and if you're going, there's Region FCCLA at Lake Area. Um, we are leaving here at 7.30 from Tulare. No pickup in Hitchcock. And then Saturday, it's girls and boys basketball versus Ipswich at 1 p.m. So go support them for their first game of the season. Now, we're going to send it to Damon. What's up? My name is Damon, and I'm here with... Mia. So, Mia, are you excited for Christmas? Yes. Do you have, like, a Christmas list planned out? Yes. That's cool. Um... What do you want for Christmas? What is the number one thing that you want for Christmas? A puppy. You want a new puppy? That's awesome. All right. Thank you. What's up? My name is Damon, and I'm here with... Macklin. So, uh, you excited for Christmas? Yes. Do you have a Christmas list planned out? Yes. What is the number one thing you want for Christmas this year? iPad. What are you going to do with an iPad? Play games. All right. Solid choice. Thank you. What's up? My name is Damon, and I'm here with... Max. So, Max, um, you excited for Christmas this year? Yes. You Do you have, like, a list put together for the, all the things you want? Yes. What is the thing that's at the top of your list? What do you want the most? A doll. A doll? What kind of doll? A Barbie doll. All right. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you, Damon. Um, starting off right away next week, Monday, there's nothing for sports, but there is a school, be school board meeting at 7 o'clock for the teachers. And then on Tuesday, there is a doubleheader basketball game at 4 p.m. at Sanborn Central. One socket. Yes. So go support them. Okay. We're now gonna on to send sports. it to your right. Alright, welcome back to sports. Alright. The girls have been practicing since November twenty first for the first game. They're starting uh, with a roster with only one senior this year and three juniors. There'll be a lot of freshmen and other lower grades with them this year. They're gonna to look to improve um, on their record or whatever. Because last year they went 8 to 14 last year, so they're trying to improve that, get better. I'm going to send it to Saul with Coach Smith to talk about this. I'm Saul, I'm with HGTV Live, and I'm today with Coach Smith. So, who are you looking for leadership in basketball today? Well, our team leader this year is Rachel Heisinga. She's our lone senior. So um, we really look to her to help us be organized both on and off the court. And she's done a great job. And that started this summer, so I'm really proud of her. That's good to hear. What are some of the players you are looking to start step up? Well, fortunately, you know, we return a core group of starters from last season. Um, all of our leading scorers, you know, Cambry and Caitlin led us last year in scoring. Um, Caitlin and Isabella led us in rebounding. And, um, you know, we have Rebecca back last year. She was actually hurt, so we have her back, and she'll be our, our fifth starter this year. So I'm just looking um, for our girls to, and whole, just all continue to improve and um, keep doing what they're doing. That's nice. What are, you, what are your expectations for this season? Well, we're really excited heading into the season. You know, we have high expectations, and we just want to win some ball games and just keep getting better. And um, when it comes time to postseason, be ready to make some noise. Sounds fun. Who is going to be the team you beat in the 281? Well, in our conference, you know, we have a lot of teams that are pretty evenly matched. It should be a good um, 281 tournament this year. And also, you know, just the overall 281 um, title will be up for grabs. I think there's a lot of top contenders. You know, Springs returns a group of 
um, girls that have a lot of experience, as well as James Valley. Um, and then there's, you know, Iroquois Lake Preston. They had a good run there towards the end of their season. They bring back some tough players as well. So it's going to be a tough um, challenge in our conference this year. We need to be ready to play every night. Nice. Who is going to be the teams to be, to be in the region? Hopefully the Lady Patriots, that's the goal. Uh, but also, you know, Warner, they have a very experienced squad, and they did well last year in the Sodak 16, and as well as Northwestern. And I know um, Leola Frederick returns a lot of experience as well. So a lot of tough teams in our region, and uh, we just got to be ready to battle. And what do you know about Itch Witch? Um, well, Ipswich, we got to watch them last night. They played, they opened up against Sully Butte. So um, we know that um, they have... They play zone, and um, they'll look to shoot from outside a lot. And it, it's our first game. You know, it's their second one. So we'll, we got to make sure we just get rid of those jitters right away and just be ready to compete. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh my word. I don't know why he's laughing. All right, thank you, Saul, for that. The boys took a fairly well-seasoned team, returning with five seniors this year, so that's pretty good for them, and two juniors, the rest of them probably freshmen, and lower grades. They're going to come off with an 11-11 season. I'm hoping they get better with that, you know, improve, get their skills up and everything else. Both teams are open against uh, Ipswich Tigers in Tulare with games starting at 1 on Saturday. They both travel to Woonsocket to travel on the Sanborn Central Woonsocket Blackhawks starting at 4 p.m. I'm going to send it back to Carly and Cambry. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks, Thanks Uriah. Uriah. Um... It's getting cold outside, guys. Maybe it's cold outside. Actually, on Wednesday, it was like it, 60 degrees. Yeah, whatever day it was. It was pretty warm outside. It was yesterday. I woke up. My windshield wasn't even frosted over, you guys. And after I left school, like, I didn't dread walking out because I it didn't freeze my niblets. It yeah. was decent. But Braxton, with the weather, is going to show us what it's going to look like for this next week. This is Braxton Jacobs here with the weather. So for Friday, we have a high of 44, low of 24, slight chance of rain with 16 mile an hour winds. For Saturday, we have a high of 37, low of 17, 45% chance of snow with 18 mile an hour winds. For Sunday, we have a high of 37, low of 21, slight chance of rain with eight mile an hour winds. For Monday, we have a high of 40, a low of 14, Slight chance of snow with 14 mile an hour winds. And for Tuesday, we have a high of 34, low of 12, no snow at all, and nine mile an hour winds. For Wednesday, we have a high of 33, low 18, slight chance of rain with seven mile an hour winds. For Thursday, we have a high of 38, low of 20, no snow at all, and 12 mile an hour winds. I'm going to send it back to Cameron and Carly. Thank you, Braxton. Now we're going to go right away and send it to Lainey with the agriculture. Hi, I'm Lainey, and I do the HT egg sector, and I bring you the markets today. Corn for December 2023, $4.68. We're up 32 cents. Soybeans for January 2024, $13.13. .13. We're up a dollar seventy-four. Wheat for December twenty twenty-three, six dollars and twenty-two cents. We're up seventy cents. Hard red wheat for December twenty twenty-three, six dollars and seventy-two cents. We're up two dollars and twelve cents. Spring wheat for December twenty twenty-three, seven dollars and seven cents. We're down eighty cents. And now on to our meat markets for live cattle December 2023. We're at 162.80 and we're down 65 cents. For feeder cattle January 2024, we're at 210.90, up 75 cents. And lean hogs for December 2023, $67.57. We're up 25 cents. And that's all I have for today. Back to you guys. Thank you, you lady. lady. Um, very insightful. Um, 
on okay. the 14th, which, which is, is a Thursday. Next Thursday, so one week. The um, junior high girls basketball game versus we'll see will be canceled along with the Spink Colony Christmas concert will be postponed to the next day. Yes. Because we will be having a memorial for our lovely cook who just passed away, Sherry. So, um... There will be more details. There will be a service. About it's where online. It is. Um, I'm not sure how you pronounce the funeral. Cooler's funeral home in Huron, in South Huron. Dakota. You can look it up. Look at her obituary. Get all the details. And it starts at 6 p.m. Well, there's a visitation from 4 to 6. Oh yeah. Look at the website to get all of the details for sure. Um, but just to make sure to keep Sherry in your thoughts along with her family. We yes, really thoughts and prayers. Um, she will be very missed by our school. Yes, indeed. We will be missing her smiling face every single morning walking in here. So, um, now we have a few birthdays to end off today's video. Thing. Um, the 8th, which is tomorrow, is Oliver Enan's birthday, so happy birthday. And also tomorrow is Riley Marzon's birthday. Happy Woo! birthday. Happy birthday, you two. The 9th, which is Saturday, is Renner Burton's birthday. Happy birthday, Renner. Happy birthday, Renner. I hope you get everything you want. I might be getting you a present. I don't know. <laughs> um... And then the 10th, which is Sunday, is Lila Johnson's birthday. So happy birthday to All everyone. of you lovely people. Have a great day. You guys don't have school on any of your birthdays, so. Be a pineapple. Wear your crown tall. Don't let anything get you from the outside. And be sweet, sweet on, on the, the inside. inside. All right, guys. That's about it for today. Thank you for watching and seeing our lovely faces again this week. Yep, and we'll see you next week. Bye.